big deal, and he had the full uh, confidence of the president. Jeff, I want to move on and ask you this because I need to get to, to some other information here. Uh, CNN also has some new reporting tonight about more contacts between the Trump campaign and the Russian ambassador at the time of the convention. Fill us in on that. We did indeed, Don. At the time of that Republican convention last summer in um, um, in Ohio, in Cleveland, there were other campaign officials, foreign policy advisors uh, and others who were meeting with the Russian ambassador. And that is not all. Also after the election at Trump Tower in um, December, Jared Kushner, of course, the president's son-in-law, and Michael Flynn also met with the Russian ambassador. So these were never uh, meetings that were part of the timeline at any other time before uh, until right now. So at this point, the White House is trying to uh, put everything out there, or at least more things out there, about meetings and other things. So we know about multiple meetings. The question hanging over this, what did the Russians hope to gain from these meetings? All we right. do not have an answer to that, Don. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. I want to bring in now a reporter, the reporter who broke the story that Mike Pence used. A private